Never lay like nice clothes and it wasn't nothing to it. Licking up the shit, we about to make a movie. Pouring up a cup, we about to set the mood in. In the cup, rolling up, smoking something groovy. I get excited when you're not biased. Love is in my head, I won't stop trying. I get excited when you're not biased. Love is in my head, I won't stop trying. Got somebody that you love and well, oh well. Making any sense and I won't tell Little bit of ghetto and a little bit of bougie And afraid to get this in a motel Love calling my name, love playing my games You ain't got no shape, but am I part the plan? I get excited when you're not biased Love is in my head, I won't stop trying I get excited when you're not biased Love is in my head, I won't stop trying uh, Girl, you cold-hearted Revelations that I had, girl, you so scarlet uh, I be tucking down on your garments Why your man back at home rolling red carpets? Uh, uh, but I'ma send it to Think about the pressure, I'ma get to you Ain't no lies told with me in the new Leave me one more like a motherfucking in the loop I get excited when you're not biased Love is in my head, I won't stop trying I get excited when you're not biased Love is in my head, I won't stop trying I get excited when you're not biased Love is in my head, I won't stop trying I get excited when you're not biased Love is in my head, I won't stop trying Thank you.
Morning guys, morning, morning, morning. Morning YouTube, morning uh, MFX members in the zoo. Let me just adjust this quickly. Close this. Morning Mark, morning Jordan, morning Diego, morning Charles. What's up guys, hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are doing good, man. Um, I didn't update this. Let me just update this. On uh, the MFX stream yesterday, we took uh, some beautiful, beautiful gold shorts. So let me just add that. I'll do percentages later. So, uh, yeah, yesterday on gold for CPI, um, we got nine, a 99 pip move. Of that 99, I secured 40 pips. And then some of the members got 99. So that was pretty cool. Um, to see the reaction of CPI. We didn't, we didn't get the, the initial reaction off of CPI because i rather trade slightly after CPI. Um... However, we did get the move like it was the next 15 candle, the next 15 minute candle. We pretty much got, I think it was uh, uh, this one. Was it this candle here? I think it was this candle, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, after that five minute resistance formed over there and started to drop. This is when we entered our shorts. So we got this move yesterday. Uh, really cool. So we got that live with the MFX members yesterday. Uh, quick in and out, quick New York session. Quite cool. Guys, it is now, I think today's PPI. Is this today PPI? Or is it? Yeah, today's PPI. Um, no, I don't I don't trade PPI. I don't think it has as much volume as CPI and NFP. And I mean, obviously some different times, uh, like some different times it will like give a different action but i don't just of like previous uh times when i've traded it it's not as volatile as nfp and cpi so um i don't trade ppi look i'm not a fundamental trader i'm a pure technical trader it's just cpi and nfp i've now involved into my trading with the guys with the mfx team uh trail riding days good morning my brother daddy lee good morning my man all in one good morning how to predict CPI move in advance? I just use technical and fundamental data that was already provided previously. However, fundamentals can go any which way. So even if you have your prediction, it's not to say it's going to actually go that way. Nobody knows what's going to happen on, on uh, these news releases until they're actually released. You can do your study before, and which we do. Um, and that's about, about as much as you can pretty much do. Um, so pre pre CPI, um, I mentioned to the MFX group that I'm wanting to sell um, gold. So let me see something. So check this out. So here you can see if I come over here. So if I go, if I go um, in the MFX group and uh, okay, that's your, your zones, Jordan. Okay. Um, if I go in the MFX group and I go to the 10th of April, which was yesterday. You can see there at half past seven in the morning, I already had my direction for CPI. So I already had the cells in my brain planned out for CPI. Um, then come the news, I... Sorry guys, I forgot to put the chat up. Um, come news, I pretty much knew what I wanted to do. I just wanted... See, so I do it, I'd rather wait for after the news. Um, it's a bit more risky to do it beforehand. You can do that, but... Yeah. I don't do it like that. I'd rather wait for that initial news push to be out and then I'll come in. Um, so yeah, we predicted it off for seven yesterday morning already before it came out at off for two. So we killed that thing. 
Uh, Calvin, what's up, my man? Hope you're doing good. I'm gonna check it out now, few jolts. How's it? Uh, now we. Uh, I'm not trading news today. I, we traded news yesterday. I didn't see you in the in the room. You traded news yesterday. Off us two CPI. Killed it. Today's PPI, but I don't trade PPI. No, I don't. Uh, I don't think PPI is worth my time. CPI and NFP is what I'll do every month. So every first two weeks in the month, um, I will trade NFP and CPI with the private MFX members. Not on YouTube, unfortunately, but privately with the MFX group on Zoom. I fell asleep, bro. You sleep on the money. You sleep on the money, dude. Can't fall asleep. Okay, guys. Uh, let's. I never trade news. Yeah, no. Look, I'm not a fundamental trader as well, but I've taught myself how to trade specifically NFP and CPI. So those are two fundamentals I will trade if I do get. Um. If I do get the setup. We were up all night. <laughs> yeah, we, we we did have a long London session. What are the major events that market reacts to? Uh, market reacts to any fundamental. That's what drives price every day. The biggest ones, though, is NFP, CPI, FOMC, those type of news releases. But guys, I'm not a fundamental trader. I don't need fundamentals to trade. Otherwise, you'll be looking for trades every five minutes because if you go to a Forex Factory and you see how much news there is actually in a day, look at that. The whole day there's news, which means that if you're going to let this dictate what you're going to do on the technical side of things, you're never actually going to trade. So I only look at the main events to be aware of it. I don't trade. it. I'm aware of the news. However, USD CPI, USD NFP, I trade. But the other things, GDP news, 30 year bond auctions, I don't give a shit about that. I'll be aware of it, but I won't trade it. Nobody knows what's going to happen. CPI, NFP, I can just, I'm able to uh, plan out beforehand by reading previous statistics. Simple as that. Gold reacting off of that QP level 2350. Let's have a look at gold quickly, guys. See what is the plan. So, yesterday is the first day since the 22nd of March that we've had a bearish engulf. Do you see that? Pretty hectic. Yesterday is the first day since the 22nd of March we've had a bearish engulf. Crazy on the daily. What is that telling me? starting to lose momentum slowly starting to lose momentum now this doesn't mean a major overall change in direction but there can be possible times for short okay what i'm gonna mark right now is gonna mark the current daily low because i'm gonna anticipate if we can break current daily low more than likely we're gonna come tap the qp level of 2325 based off of the idea that we are rejecting 2350 bearish engulfing on my daily uh if we do flip my current day low, we could possibly see more momentum to the downside. Okay. Um, now, we are a bit choppy in these areas. However, let us mark out our zones and see where we can trade and where we just need to be pretty much spectators of the market. So, the first area I want to mark out is this. Mods, uh, mic volume and music volume all fine. It's picking up fine on the the decibel reading. Um, just let me know though. Hundred percent, short Jordan.
I've got my four hour demand level here. This is where price pretty much had grabbed liquidity yesterday multiple times and has tapped into that level. And then my four hour resistance is going to be this area over here. So this is your current zone that price is trading in. Okay. This is your current zone that price is trading in, as you can see over here. So to be very straightforward with you guys, the best areas to trade is outside of that. That's going to be the first thing. For me to really want to get into shorts, I'm going to need to see price start to come below these areas. Okay, that's based off of the four hour. Because I'm going to understand that where price needs to go to in order to move is going to be either into this area and then drop or this area and then drive. Or on the contrary, if it's going to short, it needs to push through these levels. So what I want to go now and do on that 30 minute is see how close we are to the liquidity area before I can plan possible shorts. See how close we are to break the area before I can plan possible buys. This is the high of gold at the moment, 23.65. I just want to see how the hourly looks. Okay. Let's adjust our zones and add more zones. Things are looking very, very choppy in these areas, boys. For me, I'm going to leave this as my zone because I wouldn't want to trade in there anyway. I will add in a 30 minute level here in anticipation that if I can break this 30 minute low, we can sink to the floor to at least reach the current daily low. What time is it? So that was pretty much your open this morning, right? Okay, like I said on the four hour guys, gold is choppy in this area. So this for me is going to be very aggressive shorts. If we are looking to sell over here, which we can do, it's going to be aggressive shorts. And over here is going to be my safe buys. It's as simple as that today. Gold, like I said, almost every day of this week, even though we come to the chart and some areas might be a bit choppy, the thing about understanding price action and candlesticks puts you in a position where it makes your analysis easy. So you got your safe uh, safe sales over here because at that time, my 30 minutes is going to flip bearish. It's going to start leading up to price rejecting off of that daily engulfing and at the same time pushing away from 4-hour liquidity zone. So that for me is going to be a safe sales, ladies and gentlemen. Over here is going to be aggressive shorts. And then up here will just be pretty much your continuation of your bullish momentum anyway, which will be then safe buys. These are my areas. Now, how do I get... Um, how do I get into these trades? So, I'm going to be basing the... Say, for example, I get in now on aggressive shorts. I will be basing the idea off of the daily engulfing. This will be the understanding that this is testing a liquidity area for me, which is that. It's tested that multiple times already. So, it doesn't necessarily need to test it again. If it does, though, it's fine. But at the moment, it doesn't need to test that area. What I want to see is price start to break these lows, retest, and start to drive in anticipation that I can break the current daily low and continue its leg down to its support area. Because if we look into the the 30 minute area, which is the same as the four, four hour area, we'll understand that this is the current 30 minute range. Okay? This is my high. That's my low. If I'm coming from liquidity highs, I should more than more than likely come to liquidity lows if i break it up into threes this is pretty much into that third leg so it's fine for me to execute um i'm fine with that you'll see that it's still going to be um in the area of possible continuations to the lows so i am quite happy with the shorts on gold today um looking to short it down to 2325 as my qp level and i'm going to look for a simple a simple closure like this so if we can get a close like that, this candle will have that large top wick. Um, I want to anticipate that price has grabbed liquidity already. So the next candle pretty much just needs to pop up and flip. That's what you're going to be wanting to see on the the 30 minute time frame. So something like that. Okay, this is a bit thick. But you guys know what I'm trying to do, right? So pretty much you want the candles to look like this. This current candle has popped up, grabbed liquidity for it to come down, break these lows in the next 13 minutes. If it can do so, that's fine. If it can't, it's totally chilled. At the end of the day, all we want to see is price close below, tap in, and start to drive. You want some sort of nearby resistance that I can base my stop loss off of. Obviously, that is too high, so I'm going to need to use possibly the next 15-minute high um, because I don't have a 5-minute resistance yet. It's all the way up there. It's too high. 
Um, so that's what I'm looking at on the aggressive short right now. Aggressive sales will deal with when it comes, but also it's going to be a closure below. Reason being, you want it to close below the major four hour liquidity zone, right? So at the moment, right now, what I'm looking for currently um, would be closure below the level for price to tap in and start to drive. It's either going to look like this or it's going to look like um, something where you have this candle closing within this area there and then you want your next candle to pretty much close below that'll be fine as well so i'm fine with that guys so as long as i can get price to close below let's grab liquidity really i don't anticipate more liquidity to be grabbed as you can see this is also another area of uh, interest over here so these areas all around this level here i would also see as a liquidity area for price to be grabbing so um there's definitely no buys for me here. I don't see any buys right now below 23.50. I just don't. Because you also need to understand that what price has done on the market structure side of things, you had resistance there, you had support. Price popped through, right? Came back down. This was supposed to be the drive. It didn't. It now broke this level of support. So technically, it has now flipped that micro bearish, which means that anything that you want to do is actually trending to the downside, right? So every retest should be an eye opener for you to understand that this should be time for me to short. And every support that I make on the way up is areas for me to short. So like that, short. That, short. Uh, yeah, I hope that makes sense. So just by looking at the structure itself, you can clearly see that we are now trending to the downside, right? So until I break quarter pip level of 23.50, I do not want to buy. I don't want to makes no technical sense once it gets above there cool easy sailing we can do that but right now all i'm looking for is type 3 cells that's all i want type 3 cells with a four out with a type 3 cells with a type 4 style execution is all i want and that's what i'm going to be aiming for today on that's what i'm going to be aiming for today on gold on the contrary if we start to trade above these levels of 2350 i'm going to be looking for either one of two things because I'm 30 minute bullish still, I can look for a type 1. So it's going to be the breakout in the drive or a type 4, which is closure and drive. So it's as simple as price coming like this. And taking a breakout in anticipation that this is what these candles are going to be doing. Okay. So type 1 style. Why? Because we are still bullish. The pullback area uh, was, you see, pullback area is, yeah, here's the pullback area there. That's nuts. Pullback area is all the way there, which means this is one leg. These are all micro pauses, pause, pause, pause. No two candlestick pullbacks. There's my two candlestick pullback, which means that that low to that high is bullish, which means that we are still bullish on gold, even though we're doing a deep retracement, which means that I can do type ones. Okay. So this will be the type one idea. On the contrary, if price comes up, um similar to this is just that instead of taking my entry now at the break i'll then rather have to move my entry to somewhere around there okay if that makes sense to you guys obviously at that time we'll assess if we have the correct stop loss etc etc but that's pretty much what i'm looking at for the buy side of things very straightforward day today we know what we want to do that is my analysis on gold any questions do let me know um yeah so no bottom wick on daily my brother i don't know what i don't know what uh chart you're using but guys all my charts is forex.com all my charts is forex.com there is a bottom week on this daily so my brother i yeah there's no there's no there is a bottom week any questions youtube mfx guys let me know if you guys understand that drop a one in the chat so i know you guys are on par with me um now it's just a matter of being patient and waiting for us to actually get our move and then take it as simple as that you'll see my four hour zone is still i haven't modified it or changed or anything because for me right now this is the whole liquidity area we can clearly see that so i'm gonna leave it like that looks a bit nasty but it's fine um uh, and then target areas for sales will be 23 25 23 flat and then my buy targets is going to be up here. 
2359 and then 2364 okay gj see what's happening with gj then if you guys remember monday stream i anticipated the price to fall this week we pretty much done that it just has taken us um a bit of time right so now looking at this daily we are also reacting off of the level of 192500 with price being overall bullish prices now came and retested a daily level so you can see the daily level here it's what i we spoke about this yesterday so that's boys if you are in my stream every day you won't feel lost when we come to the charts because it'll just be adjustment off of what has happened the day before so that's 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 something that's very important guys is that this is another reason why i only focus on two pairs so that i can know these pairs like the back of my hand before even coming to the charts you already have um some sort of idea some sort of picture you just pretty much adjusting to that because you've been trading this pair every single day of your trading days you know what i mean so that's why i don't have many pairs i focus on two pairs at max and that's about it um okay so i just wanted to show you this level here where price says now this is the daily resistance that is important price is closed above tap into the level you can see we're not closing below that level so honestly if we're going to be starting to break above does this daily have a top wick if we're going to start breaking above this daily doesn't have a top wick if we're going to start breaking above more than likely we're going to drive to the upside there's no top wick on this daily interesting interesting Okay, let's go to the four hour marker levels and then see what is the plan very interesting for me right now is that this four uh, daily does not have a top wick we opened up and uh just drove down the problem is that it is at a major four hour liquidity zone so for me to take position as it flips might be a bit aggressive okay however i'm going to go down to my 30 minute and analyze to see if there's a possible breakout execution style i can take slash type one if not it's fine we can just wait for closure but we do anticipate that as it flips that daily high bullish we're going to see some volume right so as mentioned this whole week today's giveaway day so make sure that you are within stream from the beginning to the end i'll check that and then also that you're a subscriber i'll check that and that you have liked the stream i'll check that and then also that you follow the business page on ig we're giving away a free month membership today all you got to do is those two things so it's literally access to the entire mfx community the zoom calls the one-on-one -on -one mentorship the course the um what do you call it the accountability sessions and then obviously also you get mentored by myself um so yeah boys it's as simple as that at the end of the stream we'll pick a winner uh yeah simple as that okay so you are no wander two smoke folks yeah no i use forex.com um uh, it has just been a bit more clearer for me over the past couple of years okay so i've on the gj i've marked in my daily high very important because there is no top wick it's more than likely gonna find it's gonna get that however if i understand there is a four hour resistance there and at the same breath here we have a four hour range so for me to take it just as it breaks is going to be a bit risky i would prefer the 30 minute to start closing above and then looking for longs on gj at the moment guys i'm just looking to go with a trade and that is bullish so on gj i'm looking for long positions today with closures above 192 200 yeah 192 200 above these levels Look, we could use this daily confluence as as the topic flips we anticipated to drive. The issue with that is, guys, is that where it's about to flip is literally at four hour resistance. So I can't use that as a confluence. I'll rather just use it as something where once it starts to close above and drive, I'll say, okay, you know what? We've made our low. We've grabbed liquidity from the four hour lows, which is there, right? from price to drive and actually break through i'm definitely going to anticipate price to come to the next range which is going to be 
this low to that high in alignment with that understanding that the tps will be qp and then the highs so gg is simple today buy i'm looking for some safe buys on gj it's as simple as that safe buys above the level um if we do reject say for example we pop up now let's say we pop up oh, wrong color let's say we pop up and um Uh, let's say we pop up we tap into the level next candlestick let's say wicks out but doesn't close above comes back in anybody or mfx members can you tell me what type of entry i'll do if this area starts to reject because there's a obviously alternative plan if the buyers don't come through and we start to reject this area and i look for shorts down what type of entry would that be Type three hundred percent. So guys, if we do not break, well, we can break, but if we do not close above and reject that area, I will look for type threes because then I'm just going to be trading this range again. Simple. So that would be the idea. So for me, it's not necessarily a no trade range. What I'm going to put here is type three. So as you'll notice when I come to the charts, I just like to plan ahead and see what possible things could happen so that would be a type 3 area for aggressive shorts that's our london open over there that's our london open guys not near the area yet but you guys understand what i want to see so you want to see price either closing above in anticipation that price will drive or you want to see a candle pop up slash wick up not close then close bearish leaving you with a wick like that and then your next candle you pretty much anticipate to come down good so that's my analysis on gj and gold um it's just going to be a patience game right So what I'm going to do is, on GJ, I'm going to put a price alert there. And on gold, I'll just chill on that until we get it set up on either. Okay, any questions, guys, do let me know. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, boys, I just want to add that to the. My ears just went. My ears just got blocked. What the heck? And they won't equalize. Um, so let's chuck that in the chat quickly for you guys. Today's giveaway day, boys. Giveaway day. Can we uh, get those likes up on the stream? Let me. add this oh 
are you ready? Okay, there we go. Jeez, boys, we just hit 350 subs. Crazy. Boys, let's uh let's push that love. If you aren't subbed to the channel, drop a sub, share the stream with your friends and family, and drop a like on the stream. Um let me just close ball there. I think USD uh, no major support. Uh, I don't trade USD, brother, so I can't uh, switch on that one, my man. Looking to add a second pair of gold. Been trading GG for five years. Looking to learn gold. Great stream, thank you, my brother. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, yeah, gold is gold is my baby. I love it. Uh, Daffy, come here. Think USD is come to support. What do you think? Yeah, I don't I don't trade USD, bro. Um, <laughs> yes, it's Darren. <laughs> uh, Forex Insights, so what's up Eddie? Hope you're doing good my man Hope you are doing good uh, Guys, you see this name Forex Insights Just go to his page, like his stream I'm not stream, his uh, page And subscribe to his channel He does like reviews on Forex companies and uh, Brokers and stuff like that So just go sub to his channel and give it a like Pretty cool uh, Yeah but yeah, Mark Desi has no chill, bro. That's he's 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 a strong mod. <laughs> Mindset club morning champ at school at the moment. No audio. Laugh out Just popping in. Have a great day. We'll be looking for a single in silence. <laughs> no shares, bro. Enjoy school, my man. Enjoy school. Enjoy school. That's dedication, bro. Your your mindset really is in. Like you you ahead of the game, bro. I promise you. When I was 16 in high school, I was not even thinking about <laughs> anything like this. Yeah, so uh, at the end of stream, guys, straight after the the wordle, I'm gonna do a giveaway. Should we do a wordle today because of the giveaway? I still think we should. So wordle won't have anything to do with the giveaway. The giveaway is gonna be as simple as you guys guessing between the lit the number one to fifty. I'm gonna write it here so you can see me writing it, and I'm gonna put it here so you can see that the number is here, and I'm changing. It. And then whoever gets the number gets the prize. As simple as that. Prize is you guys voted for it yesterday. We had I'm either gonna give out money today or I'm gonna give out a free uh challenge, a funder challenge, or I'm gonna give out a free month of mentorship. Everybody wanted the mentorship, so that's up for grabs today. A free month of mentorship where I mentor you myself, you get my course, you get part of uh MFX community access, accountability uh, sessions, all of the jazz. You have that for a month. Um, and then once we hit 500, um, yeah, once we hit 500, it's going to be a massive ass giveaway. Now, I'm not going to be Oprah and give away a flipping car or some shit, but it's going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be good. You guys are going to pull up for that. So let's get those subs up, boys. Share the stream as much as you can. I would appreciate that. Um, yeah, just repost as much as you can. GJ with the volume. However, GJ has no bottom wing. Oh, there is. There is a bottom wing on GJ. <laughs> da 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 da. You get a mention. Oh, Jordan. Jordan's gonna. <laughs> Jordan's gonna pay for all you guys. <laughs> oh, I, uh, <clears throat> we are able to do these breakouts, boys. <laughs> you are able to. I was thinking. Uh, Jordan left the chat. <laughs> the 
only thing with if I do a breakout, I need to understand that this could be the issue right here. These wicks. So, this is how I'm going to play it. See, so I, if I do the breakout, in anticipation it will fall that wick as a type 1. Let me just remove this because it's actually messing with my chart right now. If I do the breakout, it's going to be here. With my stop needing to be below that five support. She's there. And then you're targeting QP. 29 pips. Get ready, boys. I'm going to pull the trigger on this. Uh, I can't, D. I've tried, bro. I can't. I don't know why it pops up. Like that. I can't. Once it's a poll, I can't. Well, I don't know if anybody has expertise on this shit. Let me know. If you know how to minimize the poll on the chart on the screen, let me know. Uh, if you guys, I can't. Yeah, I... the way like the way you get the source, click your choice. Your choice. Nah, 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 nah. See, like what's what you guys are seeing on the charts is different to what is being wait unless i do it on youtube hold on let me get to the source let's get ready for gj longs here boys now i do understand that i am putting myself in a position of risk because I'm taking it before the closure but I, I'm anticipating that we're going to be driving after that flip now of the daily to continue further up that's what I'm anticipating okay so entries for me is going to be 192211 Okay, so I'm looking for entries at 192211. I do understand the risk that it can just be popping in and coming back down. I understand that. But I'm fine with it. I'm going off the idea that it's breaking these highs right now after flipping that daily resistance. Um, I want to get in on longs in anticipation that we can start to drive. So I've just taken some GJ longs over there. My first TP is going to be 10. And then final TP will be up here for 54.5 pips. TP2 is going to be quarter pip. Uh, TP2. How much pips is that? 29. And then stop loss is 29.4. Let's just get it to 30. Okay. And this is my trade this morning. Stop loss 191911. Um, yeah, let me try and get that pull down. I think I might know a way, but the way you get your source from YouTube to your stream it's a bit of a story so let me just see if I can't do it like this quickly and like edit it at my at the source ah, I can't wait does that do it nah I can't voice unfortunately guys let's get those likes up Let's get those likes up. Let's get those likes up. TP1 incoming. Can it hit my TP1? TP1 break even secure partials. You let the rest run. Click on six minutes ago. I did that. I can 
see so okay let me just let's let's get through the trade and then i'll show you guys what what happens on my side where is my computer gurus check telegram after trade for sure i saw the message pop i just want to fuck it we in the traders or what wait whatever i do now is Yeah, see, George, I can do that. Like, that I can do. I'll show you. But it doesn't change anything in my chat. So, you can go here. Like, I wish I could show you guys my end of the side. Like, what I'm seeing, I don't see the normal YouTube like you guys. Unless I go to YouTube itself. So, this is how you guys see it, right? And then I click there. Right? And that's obviously what's happening doesn't change anything on my my stream chat i can't get it away i don't know why i don't know how uh, the other way would be using a snip tool which i'll probably have to try but yeah always i i'm not a i'm not a computer a computer over me we didn't have computers growing up, my bro. So this is my new stuff that we're learning about now. <laughs> Isn't there, there's, you see, there's a close pull option here in my top chat, but then it will end. That's the issue because I'm the the maker of the poll. It's gonna end the poll. Fifteen minute close, not really outside the zone, but it's fine. The candlestick anatomy is still there. I'm happy with everything else. Like the trade's fine. The only thing is that. Obviously, if you reject this area, which is obviously the the one con of the position, then obviously it can go the opposite way. But I wouldn't want to be in the trade if it breaks that area already. So I can start managing here if I wanted to. Do, but what we saw, this is type 1. High, 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 low within the candlestick. And that me driving to that area with my structure being bullish. Daily flip, you anticipate price to continue its momentum. That's a type 1 for you. Let's see what the result is. You guys know the drill, TP1. I secure partials and I go to break you. Just move this safe by so you guys can see it. So yeah, man. Another day, another trade. We have no control of the markets or what happens during the trade. Everything is in our hands beforehand and as it closes. And during is all we can do is just manage the position and be sure that you also don't over manage positions. I'm doing a 100k finance challenge account. Love the way you break your trades down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, guys, if you are new to the channel, drop that like button and subscribe to the channel. We trade live with YouTube Monday to Thursday. Half past eight GMT plus two time, and Fridays is a private session with the MFX members. One thing I want to point out to you guys right now if you look to the left hand side, right, these areas, if this trade turns where price is now, it's because of this area is here. Okay, I just want you guys to be aware of that. So the rule of thumb also with type 1s is that at TP1, you secure largely of your profits. So for me, for example, at TP1, I'm going to close between 80 and 90% of my position. Just because technically, price hasn't retested this level or made a support here. So the chances that it's going to do that is higher than it just driving. Now, now I'm not saying it can't drive, it can but the probability of it driving and retesting is higher than it's just driving one shot. 
So that's why at type 1, at TP1, I secure most of my profits, if not everything. I hope you understand why I do it the way I do. Does everyone understand why I took the breakout? Let me fix members. You guys get that? You guys understanding why I took these breakouts? Type 1. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Cool, my brothers. Now we just wait and see what happens. Does this fifteen have a bottom wick? Okay, 15 has a bottom mix, so that's fine. Very nice, very nice. So you're up 20 pips already, well done. Five close solidifying support area for me. We should drive. Come, GJ. What's gold doing? Just hanging, hanging in there. <laughs> see, the only thing on GJ that's like, you can see how it's reacting, it's giving some sort of reaction, is because of these levels here, boys. So I do understand that. <laughs> these levels here is why it's pretty much stuttering at the area. I don't think it's going to necessarily make price turn around, but that's obviously why we're acting like this. Is that TP1 incoming? Very close. Uh, we do. Simo, you're going to have to change your chart, bro, because we have bottom wicks. I think you're definitely using the wrong charts. Because there's bottom mix everywhere. This is a literally, if you study the MFX course, and for everybody, if you study the MFX course, this is a perfect type one. You won't get any better than this regarding the entry style. Candlesticks uh, obeying anatomy, high, 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 low within not the structure, but the anatomy of the candlesticks itself. Bottom mix is there, you take it as it drives. So guys, like, I'm not telling you what to do, but 
I would recommend using forex.com. I use only forex.com charts on all my pages. You can obviously use whatever one you want to use, but I use forex.com. Yo, that's like a nipple wick. Okay, so where we are reacting is here. Let's see where we're reacting. We should we should see that that ten pip mark though. Now with us reacting like this. I also need to understand that I don't also want to over manage because I am thinking of moving my stops a bit higher now to the possible previous 15 low but I don't want to over manage just yet boys so like that like 20 down just scale it down to like 23 pips and that will be the current 30 low this 30 low is going to close in uh, 5 minutes Volume in gold now. Let's see. Yeah, we know what to do. This is no trade range for us, so nothing happening in here. DJ is so close, yet so far. That's the uh, same time to smoke. To smoke folk. Zero point eight pips away from TP. For me to come back and lose that trade is going to make zero sense. So everybody, go to break even. Uh, trade is now risk free. It's going to make no sense for me to be 0 0.8 pips away from TP to go and lose the position. Um, especially on a type 1. So I am now break even on the position. The trade is now risk free. Okay. Um, I haven't secured any profits just to make you aware of that. I'm just going to break even because if I'm going to be so close to my TP1, for me to come in to draw down again on a type 1, it doesn't make any sense. So that is how I've managed that position. Okay? Especially now, that's probably like 0 0.1 pips away from TP. We are just struggling at the area. Yeah, 0 0.2 pips away from TP. Um, I would highly recommend that you go to break even. If you're not going to uh, take profit or whatever, just go to break even because at the end of the day, we haven't retested this area yet so on a type one you need to understand that okay come on gj
this is it come on come on come on come on so close so close I'm gonna close some here. I'm not gonna add for point one. Oh, guys, I'm closing. I'm closing here. Okay. Uh, I got 9.8 pips over there at 80% of my position. Uh, I'm just gonna let it run. That was in the chat, boys. Uh, I just need you guys to understand that we have reaction area here. This is the best that we could manage it. Okay. If it runs up, it runs up. But I'm not gonna go and. Be so adamant about 10 pips that I won't take 9.8. And I can see there's an area on the left hand side of. Uh, like if, I don't know how to explain it. I hope you guys are understanding it. If you don't understand that there's an area there and we are struggling there. And you don't want to take because you're hunger for the number 10 pips. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. So I've closed 80% at 9.8 pips. You might get your 10 here. Let's see. Just know there's no bottom week on this 30 minute. So if you haven't secured, I would highly recommend you do so. So I've got 20% uh, left over. It is risk free. Whatever happens with that 20% happens with that 20%. Um, there you got your TP1 smack anyway. So well done. That's 10 pips. Um, another day, another dollar, boys. It is what it is. The MFX way. But I, besides all of that, I hope you understand the management part of it. How I managed that break even when it came close and was stuttering there. Because for all we know, this could be price grabbing equality to plonk back down. Understand? So that is why when it was just hovering at 9.8, I closed. Um, I have 20% running now. Whatever happens there, happens there. Because I can clearly see my understanding, understanding, understanding <laughs> market structure as well as liquidity zones. There's an area there, boys. It's right there. What if it rejects off there and I go back to drawdown or I hit stop loss because of that area when I was so deep in profit? That doesn't make any sense for me. So that's why that was done like that. Uh, 10 pips in the bag. I'm happy. You should be too. That's the 33rd win on stream. GG. And that is the 8th win. For the month so we've taken 10 trades we've taken 10 trades for the month of april it's now the 11th of april we've taken 10 trades eight wins two break even so 100 percent win rate I haven't taken a l so far for the month so well done on that boys you guys are doing good you guys are doing really really good Uh, let's journal that. What is that? What is that? <laughs> Why is my mouse there? So don't run away just yet, puppers and dippers. Are you doing a giveaway? Don't run away just yet. So think about it. If you've... Let's, let's play this scenario. Your vision is to be a full-time trader. Let's play this scenario in your head. You want to be a full-time trader. You spend five years grafting. Let's just say that's the number that you're in the game. Let's say you spend five years grafting, four years grafting, three years grafting, whatever. But you've been grafting, you've been putting in the work, you've been putting in the time. Right? You're consistent now. You're trading your six figures or five figures or seven or wherever you want to be. And uh, you come to the chart, you spend an hour, and you're done for the whole day. Just envision that for yourself. It will motivate you. You're done for the whole day. You've made, let's say, let's say on a, on a bad day, you made $1,000. For my South African boys, that's like 18 grand. Someone's, uh, someone's monthly salary in a day, in an hour. How long were you in the trade? You're in the trade for about 15 minutes. About 15 minutes. Why I'm saying it like this is because I want to understand the process. It's not going to happen like this in the beginning. So wherever you are in your journey, push through. 
focus on the end vision, the end goals, not the end, but the the point where you are consistent, the point where you are profitable, the point where you're doing it every day and you are comfortable in your training. Focus on that. Whatever point you are in at your journey, if you're in a, lose, uh, if you're in a mad losing streak right now because you're overtrading, focus on the end goal. If you are in your break-even stage, you're winning but you're losing, winning but you're losing, focus on the end goal. If you're profitable and you are consistently trading, just keep on doing what you're doing. And then also at that same point, ask yourself, how do I level up from here and when is the time? Because you mustn't, you mustn't also rush your process. It took me two and a half years to actually become consistent. And it wasn't even really, it was nice profits. I mean, but it wasn't like as much as we make now. It's, 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 it always has to be um, a journey for you. It's always going to be a journey. Like I'm going to, I'm going to remember this day three years from now and three years from now, I'll be like, yo, I didn't make as much, but now it's a lot. If you understand what I'm saying, once you get to that seven, eight figure stage and you look back, or once you get to your six figure stage and look back, or you get your five figure stage and look back, it's always going to be like, yo, what a level up. So you, in this game, you always want to level up. So I just, for me in my journey, when I was in my major losing streaks and my major uh downward trend <laughs> in trading i just focus on where do i see this going not necessarily where i am at right now um uh, so just finding accountability for for where i am and then looking forward man so uh this is it boys this is literally for those that have taken the mfx course you won't get a better uh, two folks, folks, can we clip this? Can we clip this, please? Um, the the trade and the the yeah the trade running up there, because guys, you won't get a better type one. This was textbook any brand. <laughs> this this was the the best textbook entry or play according to a type one that you will get in a live scenario. Because for me, I think me and Mark had this chat last night. Um. It's one thing to take a course. It's one thing to, uh, to, uh, yeah, to take a course. But it's a whole different ball game to actually implement it day to day. So I think to see it live with a mentor or someone showing you how to do it, uh, it should teach you a lot. I just want to journal this quickly, boys. When else was it? Okay, okay, we took a, our last GZ trade was a break even. Okay, we got 10 today. Then prior to that, the GZ trade was 22 pips. So definitely the money maker this, this month is, uh, is gold. But you understand why, right? Gold is just moving. Gold is just going. So my whole position is out at, uh, 10 pips, 80%, 20% is at break even. So 10 pips for me, I'm happy. I'm chilling. I'm done for the day. Um, I will obviously look for more setups if there is for anybody that wants to take it but regarding me placing a trade I'm one and done I'm, I'm sorted for the day 10 past 9 till uh, 9.26 so it's about a 16 minute trade I'm not gonna complain because it's it's very cold. <laughs> it's very cold. If uh if you were part of the MFX group like last year, you'd see me on live with a blanket and a gown. The real ones know when the gown comes out. It's uh it's time to make a lot of money. When you get that you Yefna gown out, ah it's it's time to make a lot of money. Uh that was a fifteen minute breakout type one. So GG on that boys. Versace gown? Nah, it's a Woolies gown. We're not on Versace levels yet. <laughs> it's a Woolies gown, bro. Honestly, like, even when things become that stupid, I won't even wear I'm not I will never wear that sort of vibes. I just I don't know, it doesn't interest me. Versace and weird boy like that, I don't know. I'm a die hard Nike, bruh. 
I'll, I'll always wear Nike. Nike, H&M, Factory, and then MFX branded merch. Uh, I'll probably always wear that. I, I, my like my, my getup is uh, plain and simple always. Most of the time, I'm wearing black, or like black or nude colors. <laughs> Uncle Rob's, Uncle Rob's knows, bro. When the gown comes out, it's nah. The market knows also, it's nah, bro. We're taking all the broker's money when the gun comes out. <laughs> Miles would just say, if you are consistent for three months, then it's a good amount of time to judge if you are consistent or how long would you say a good amount? Obviously, it is where you are in general. Like if you in your first, if it's the first three months ever of you trading and you're making money consistent, you can't call that consistency. I would say like after a year, then you can be like judging yourself. Yeah, between it, your first year and two years, you can start judging yourself. And then if you're consistent for like three months further, then you can say, okay, we're doing this consistently. Why I say at least one year for the newbies? Because one year of trading is not going to teach you trading. One year of trading is not going to show you market conditions. I, honestly, I would say at least two years, boys. In two years, a lot of shit can happen. Because... Trading isn't just about learning strategy. It's it's learning who you are. It's learning your own flaws. Like you will realize things about yourself that you never knew before once you start. Because trading involves a emotion that no other occupation I think involves. This I promise you, trading can make you cry. I've cri <laughs> I've cried in front of these charts, bro. Trading can make you mull. Like you can be your trading can make you mull. Oh my gosh. So that's when you learn so much about yourself because you need to get all those things on lock. And your first three months or your first year even, nah, I don't think so. Unless you're already the type of person that has your psychology and mental state on lock beforehand, I wasn't. I wasn't that dude. I had to learn a lot about myself. And I was young also. I was young when I started training. So not only did I have to mature in the charts, but I had to mature in life also. But also, with that being said, I feel like maturing the charts teaches you so much about life. Like as well. I personally feel like if I didn't take my trading, if I didn't take the trading journey, it might have taken me longer to learn certain things about myself and about life in general. I think so. Maybe not even just the trading journey, but just the life of an entrepreneur. Like whoever has started a business or has ran a business before, whatever, it teaches you so much about yourself. How to handle certain situations differently. Not to panic. Yeah. It's, I don't know, bro. It's, so, yeah, I would say, um, depending on where you are in your journey, you can administer yourself like between three and six months to see how consistent you really are. But if it's like your first year and you're like six months into the game, uh, that's not going to tell you shit about your consistency in trading. You need to still go through market cycles. You still need to go through market conditions. Yeah. I hope that makes sense. Uh, WWW top Sure, boys. That call yesterday was a game changer for me, man. Changed my whole outlook on everything. Donkey, I got you, Mark. I got you, bro. The brother black and gold with such a gun is such an easy way to spot the furu. Bro, exactly. 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 Uh, do you trade NY as well? Look, I'm a London trader, but when there's like news in NY, or we don't get a trade in NY, or it's dead in, oh, sorry. If there's news in NY, or there's no trade in London and it's dead in London, I'll have a private session for the MFX members. But regarding YouTube stream, it's only London, because I'm a London trader. 99.9% .9 of the time, I only trade London. That 0.1% of NY, I'll do privately with the MFX members. Uh, that's MFX members have all the perks guys YouTube I'm sorry but we can only give that much away for free right and I feel like what I give away for free is a shit lot you're not going to get this really anywhere else besides the trades being taken the knowledge is being spat at you every day if you are listening it's good it's like my mother when she rocks her car she's totally locked we're locked in bro locked in yes it does perfect 
Okay, guys, we got any question. I think it's time for Wordle. Then it's time for the giveaway. I think so. GJ, look, GJ. Hmm, let me ask a question. MFX members. Off, uh, on Zoom or in YouTube. What trade comes after a type 1? Like, what type can we pull after a type 1? If we take a type 1 and we close off in profit. What could be the next trade that we could be taking? There's two of them. There's two of them. Depending on how it closes, what could it be? Yeah. Type 4 and type 2, right? So the type 4 right now is the price currently closing above this level, which is the 30 minute closure above the level. The flip of this, boys, you can look to re regain, to get in on entry again. Understand that there is a bit of choppiness to the left hand side, but you'll be looking for pretty much an entry like this. So long there, and then stops for 30 down here because you should have that five minute support. Do you? Yes, you have a five minute support. So the break of this five minute high, you go for type four, boom, take your trade to where we would have a TP2 for 16. And then a type two would be. Also, if we start to see some bearish descent. So, for those that want to look for re-entries, do understand that you have choppiness on the left. I'm going to notify you of that. But, yeah. Obviously, we TP1 on our first trade. If you want to look for your second position, there is a Type 4 brewing right now. So, it's going to be the break of these highs. Entry 192.333. You have your solidified uh, stop loss over there. And then, you can look for price to drive. 192500 eventually ending up into that liquidity zone so if you come to the four hour you'll understand what i've explained this morning which is the range from low to high that's what you're understanding there okay so if anybody is looking for re-entry on that uh not right now on this 15 you're going to need to see okay there is a bottom yeah so pretty much the drive of of the and the break of those highs will be fine You've got your five minute support you've got your 30 minute close above you've got your retest as price breaks and drive the size you have a type four how do you lose the trade if you look to the left hand side there is um areas of rejection so that could be how you could possibly lose the position and that would be the way to get in on a second trade if you want to take it i won't be taking it because i already won my first trade i'm done for the day i'm just showing you how you could get in again okay cool yeah, like and subscribe, uh, uh, guys. Uh, Darren Dubai, first time on the channel. Are you South African? Yes, I am. I am South African. <laughs> Dazzy with the jokes. Uh, all the way from South Africa, brother. All the way from SA. So for those that want to take this, here is your setup. I will call it for you. 192333. That's what I'm calling. I'm just not going to take it because why? What's my strat? What's my strategy regarding uh, trades today? Uh, let's see. So your TP1 is going to be here, uh, boys. Well, it should be four double three. If I, it should be four double three. Okay. I bet you down on buys. Uh, uh, nice bro. Hello from CPT. I'm loving your trade breakdowns. Thanks, brother. We are here every day, Monday to Thursday, and then Monday to Friday on the private MFX group. Half past, uh, half past eight South African time. In the morning. One and done. Yeah. One and done, like, you know that guy that sings Hoppa Gamno style, Sai? One and done, like him. Part of your strategy is you take your win and go. 100%, my brother. 100%, take my win and I go. I'll call this trade for you, though. 192 triple three. It's amazing to see what you could take two to three trades a day and have the rest of your day to yourself. But if you win, yeah, two trades a day. It's only not even three. Two trades a day. If you win your first one, you're done, bro. 
now it's going to take a bit of time for you guys to grasp that if you're focusing on monetary value but if you focus on the journey if you focus on percentage growth on your account to understand why and where i am um Yeah, you, look, you're looking that TV one. You want to start seeing reaction around the body of these candles, also on that daily. I personally feel like we're gonna rock and roll right here, all the way to one nine two eight thirty. That's me. Hourly closing in ten minutes, so you might also want to wait for that hourly close, because obviously where we are right now, we are rejecting this area, right? So you might want to play the safe card and wait for your hourly close. If anybody is looking to uh, take these entries. But also with this 15 minute possible break now, it should drive. Five minutes is looking potent. Your stops is down there yeah it's a, it's a it's a nice one you just know that if you take the position you know that this is going to be an area of let's say issue okay so i'll call it for you guys one nine two triple three can go for long positions okay Got your retest of the area, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Darren the bias, two years. Cool, man. Check what's happening on that poll. Let's see if anybody said no. Joe, so boys, if you uh, <laughs> who was the who was the dickheads that said no to are they ready for the giveaway? Yeah, you will find that you will find that type of people. Fuck's sakes. You don't want free shit? Um, guys, if you're on sub to the channel, please get those subs up. Road to 500. Let's go. <laughs> Go funny. I was the cash guy yesterday. You the cash guy yesterday? Nah, nothing happened on gold, bro. Nothing on gold. Truly, it's maybe something wrong. Where the fuck? Where is something wrong? Something wrong. He left us.
okay guys what i'm gonna do is everybody has a image of this in their head so if anybody wants to take this they can take it you guys know i'm not gonna take it because i'm i've hit my target already so that would be entry i'm gonna take that away because i know people's gonna come to stream and ask me a lot of questions buy or sell are we in the trade da -da -da. so uh let's do the wordle then it's time for the giveaway today's gonna be an early stream boys i'm not gonna keep you guys we we our target we got our money we made our profit right I just want to quickly just edit this quickly the win rate. Oh, why did I do that now? Uh, there we go. Um, oh shit, even okay, stream still running. Sure. wins i just want to edit that obviously 100 percent for the month will be there stream wins is what's four plus three seven three seven three seven six losses 86 86 percent win rate for the year not too shabby not too shabby nige Cheers to smoke, folks. Cheers, bro. Wait, did I do my maths wrong? 33 plus 4. What is that? What time I did maths wrong? 37. Did I put 37 in the Omni calculator? Did I put 37 or 36? I can't even remember. Jordan, you're making me damn a card, bro. 33 plus 4 is 7. Yeah. Fucking making me do a card here. Shit. <laughs> okay, guys. Like, uh, if I take in another trade or if I could, this would be the trade that I'd be in long right now. That's a type 4. Whoever takes a GG, well, good luck with that. As much as I want to take it because it is absolutely beautiful, it's a type 4. I can't take it because my name is one and done. So this will be a type four setup. That's your TP one. Your stop loss is for thirty. So your in your your setup, if you are taking it, is gonna be like that. TP one is there for ten. TP two is there, and then your final TP is up there. And then you have a stop loss here for where is it? 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 Thirty pips. Only but. Yeah, look for me, like, even this, very tempted, but my rule is my rule for a reason. My rule is my rule for a reason. So this thing can fly all the way 50 pips, I promise you, I won't feel anything. I have rules in place for a reason, because that's what keeps me consistent in the long run. So whoever wants to take it, obviously could have taken it at the point that I called it. Uh, it's up to you, man. Besides the, just the trades, I just want you guys to learn from this shit. You guys are learning. Eventually you'll earn, right? But anyways, guys, I'm not going to sit on the charts the whole time. I've done what I need to do. Let's do the wordle. Then it's giveaway time. Hey, Miles, are you real trade? Zilla, autonomous trade, logging, calculation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got, I, I'm aware of it. I'm aware of it. Trade Zilla. I heard of it. Never tried it. I've heard of it, though. Oh yeah! I think like halfway to <laughs> halfway to TP. Who took the trade? Out of curiosity, put a one in the chat if you took the trade. MFX members, the guilty ones, come forward. Someone definitely fucking took it. I know people come to my stream just. Uncle Robs. <laughs> Uncle Robs, Uncle Robs, Uncle Robs. I knew it. Okay, boys. Anyways, first word. Let's just we've let's re release release the trading. Let's welcome the wordle. Then we're gonna do the giveaway. Okay. 
Where's my diary? Put a 24 of you here, 25 of you here. Put an M in the chat if you'd like my course and you'd like to be mentored by myself. M in the chat. If you want my course and you want to be mentored by myself. Because this is your opportunity to to get that for free, man. It's your opportunity. Fuck you, Dazzy. <laughs> Zach. Okay, that's hourly close. Do anticipate it before. I'm just speaking as if anybody's in. I don't think anybody's in besides um, my favorite uncle. Uh, yeah, I do anticipate the bottom week, but you should be good after that. I mean, a TV is short impact on 15 minutes chart. Wish me luck. Yo, definitely good luck because impact double tops, double bottoms. No offense, my emotional state. You're wasting your time, bro. But if that's how you trade, that's fine. No offense. But GG, bro. Good luck. Um. Okay, guys. First word, champ. C H A M P. Because we champions, right? Let's call our group DJ Khaled. Charles, pull up. Can I choose a word? Uh, uh, Forex. Forex. Okay, O is in the right place. Loads. Imagine this dude just gets it right. L O A. Okay, can't use A, but I'm going to do it just so we can get a word out there. Loser. Loser. We don't have any losers here. Okay. The word has. But the word has. L O and S E in, but no R. Lose. Let's try it. L double O S E. Let's try it. Jordan with the dub. Let's see. Jordan. Jordan. Ah, uh, Jordan. What should this be? L O and S Laos Laos Before I press enter put a put a one in the chat if you agree because this is the last try and we've never lost a word GJ is about to smack somebody's TP I'm gonna go with Nah, Charles. Charles is crazy, bro. Charles is crazy. This is mad. This dude just keeps winning every day. Like, I, look, I haven't even written anything. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Cock <laughs> buddy. Okay, boys, uh, I think it's giveaway time. And then we're done for the day, man. TP1, give this brown naughty badge. That's a belief. <laughs> TP1 coming in for those that have taken these uh, type 4 ideas. Down one, either of two small wingless parasites. <laughs> Near fork, this brown definitely has a journal there. TP1! For those that took that, well done. I know Uncle Rob's did. Uncle Rob's, well done. Type 4. Type 4, Baba. Type 1 into Type 4. Well done. 
What's that? Another one called? Let me add that. I won't add it into the stream record, but I'm adding to uh, trade taken for you guys. Uh, what's that? Ten. Well done, boys. We called that. Well done to those that took it. Oh, here's my favorite guy. Mayfair on green. I love you, bro. I fucking love you. You waste your time every day to come speak cuck on my stream. I love you. May God bless you and may you have a lacquer day. And may one day you be as good as all the other people in the stream. Because they are the real ones. But thanks for pulling up. I appreciate you. Oh, wait. <laughs> Fuck sakes. Every time Mayfair pulls up to my stream, he thinks I will lose, and then I don't. But we love you, Mayfair. Please come, please come back. We love you. You make the stream exciting. Your analysis is wrong. You just get lucky. I think so as well, bro. You know what? Now, I definitely think I'm going to go to the casino today, guys, because fuck, my luck is just so good. Because my analysis is always wrong that I just keep winning. It's weird. Fuck it. This guy needs to suck somebody's toe. <laughs> like, you need to suck a toe, bro. You cockboard. El Nino Foslo W. Yeah, bro. Okay, guys. I called two trades. Both win. I won't add into the stream records. I didn't take the second one. I just called it for you. But my, my rule is if I win one trade, I'm done. I can't take two trades. But if I win one trade, I'm done. And then... um as long as i keep in that two trade rule if i lose the first trade because losses do happen i'm gonna lose it's normal everybody is gonna lose um i allow myself to take a second trade um yeah uncle robs are you still holding a runner Oh, there's caught up, boys. That's your for those that's in. That's gonna be your TP two QP, and then yeah. I'll ban that. Nah, don't ban him. Don't ban him. We need the haters, bro. We need the haters. Mayfair, I got your back, bro. My mods wanna ban you. Small one, nice Uncle Robbie. You're holding runners to 700 points on it. Awesome, brother. I laugh. Mayfield wins the giveaway. Bro, if Mayfield wins the giveaway, I might change his life, bro. Possible gold sales income. What's happening on gold? Ooh. Okay, we'll have a look see, yeah? Out at 16.5. Well done, Uncle Robs. That's awesome. 16.5 pips. Did you take those, the... Is that your second trade, or is it just the one? Nobody say pay. Nobody say pay. Four, Dazzy. Two? Well done. Oh, well done. You took two, but well done. So that's what? 20... 26.5 pips for you for the day. YouTube, nobody say pay. We're trying to save Mayfair. Mayfair, we're trying to save your ass. <laughs> Miles is wrong 80% of his stream record <laughs> yeah bro it's luck it's luck guys I'm fucking telling you it's luck it's just luck all the trades is just luck and then when I and the 6 losses is me actually trying to get it right fuck his owns are clowns bro no balls, no Ferrari. I like that. <laughs> no balls, no Ferrari. <laughs> very true, very true. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Gold 
Go for the dippity dip. I think I, let's let's hold out on the sh the the giveaway for a bit. I just want to see what's gonna happen with gold. Uh, GJ tap the QP guys. You need to understand my QP. Well, the QP strategy that everybody knows now because I've explained. Have I explained the quarter purple on YouTube? I think I did. Um, but quarter pip zones are very important. Um, so yeah, I don't know who's still holding, but if you haven't secured anything, guys, I would recommend you secure some profits. Nothing hurts with you taking money and bringing it home, right? And that's actually upping your balance. Guys, just excuse me for like a minute. I was in the bathroom. Um, then we'll come back just quickly assess gold, and then after that we can do the, the giveaway. Dazzy, don't ban that, bruh. Leave him. Bro is angry, blew his account. Is that why? Is that why he's so quiet? <laughs> uh, Simo, for times of setting your five, yes, it is. I'll show you. You want a closure below two triple three? Yeah, guys, I would say closure below two triple three. 30 minute, what's time now? 15 or 30 minute closure below this level, and those that's looking for gold shorts can obviously take it in anticipation that you can break your current daily low to continue trading your liquidity zones that you have over here, which is that high to that low. The anticipation that price should pop down. So that would obviously be the idea behind that, right? You need your closure below, though. So Gigi was slaughtered. Um, gold. Yeah, I, I would say you need a closure below. And then what you can do is you can use the next 15 slash 30 minute top wick as a resistance. Because I promise you, 52 pips is way too big for a stop loss. Well, if you, if you, if you risk 50 pips per trade, awesome. But for me personally, I'm all right. I'm, I'm really okay. I'm not going to risk that, that much. So, uh, yeah, man. Guys, do you have any questions? Um, today's going to be an early day. Today's going to be an early day, boys.
just want to get a clip for IG quickly. Next out is three five. Yeah, yeah. Look, as long as your risk strategy, like, kind of accounts for it, then it's okay. Then it's fine. Then it's fine. Guys, are we ready for this giveaway? I'm gonna do the giveaway. I'm gonna call it a session. I'm gonna call it a day. Um, after the giveaway, let's see who's gonna be the winner of this. Um. So it's gonna be as simple as this, boys. You have to like the stream. You have to follow the business page on Instagram. And you have to subscribe to the YouTube. That's all. So, I'm going to give you guys two minutes. Go in the description. Go follow the business page. It is there. So, go on IG. Go follow the business page. Okay, I'm going to give you two minutes. Once you've done that, subscribe to the YouTube. Once you've done that, like the stream. If you've done that already, awesome. Then you're a real G. Then, I am going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to write a random number down between 1, let me say 0, and 50. Okay? Then you on YouTube, you're going to guess... Uh, you're going to guess the, are you in gold shorts? Uh, you, you're going to get it. You're going to get your TP. Then, then you should guess the number between zero and 50. Whoever gets the number wins. It's not going to be that difficult. Where was your entry, Calvin and Jordan? Bob, is it? Your entry would have, I would probably think be around there and you would have almost hit your TP one already. Because I would always want to enter below that uh, resist uh, support area there, and then conservatively would be pretty much below that. I don't know where you guys stops would have been though, because these stops are wild. Uh, yeah, I would. You would. Yeah, there. Your stops would be around there, thirty-five pips, I guess. Because you just don't have that five minute resistance yet, but still a valid trade. That's just the only thing with the golden moment, guys. They stop some nuts. Okay, guys. Patiently waiting. I'm going to wait till 20 past 10. You need to be a follower on the Millennial FX Instagram page. And a subscriber on the YouTube channel. Like the stream. You get the number. You get a free month of... Everything MFX. Mami. Gunjuti. I see you, bro. I see you. El Nino. I see you, bro. I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you, my G. Uh, where's your TP, Calvin and Jordan? Calvin's entry. 233.62. Jordan's entry, what? 231. Pop it on the screen for you. 231, what? 232.62. Uh, 62. So, I think, Calvin, you would have hit your TP1 already. Jeez, bro, you would have killed. You got 18 pips already. So, you're done. Jordan... 231, 7, 231, 7, 7, Jordan, very shy of your TP1, very shy of your TP1, you might just hit it now though, 
With anticipation, you can come all the way down, right? Okay, anyways, cool. MFX students on fire. So, yeah, guys. Um, Diego, I see you, brother. I see you. Guys, got like a minute left. And then, uh, we'll do it. Close to profit, not gonna be greedy. I, I love that approach. 17 pips, you can't complain with that, brother. Take the money. Take the money, that's what you gotta do. Do we guess the number here? Yeah. So, MFX members, I'm gonna need you to come to YouTube. So, I'm gonna give you guys like two minutes. Come to YouTube, put your things, your numbers in there because I don't want people on YouTube to check now. Nah, um, being scaly or some shit. Yeah, so. Guess a number between 0 and 50, any number. Any number. I'll tell you when though, don't do it now, I'll tell you when. No lean class and I see you my man, I see you. Sell gold, sell gold. Drizzy, it's a bit too late for that. Done it ready. Trizzy if in to gold also twenty thirty two. Twenty thirty two close twenty thirty one five one. How much is that? Twenty thirty two is point six. Uh twenty thirty one five one. What about like nine pups? GG though, we you got your move. Okay, MFX members, are you guys all, you don't have to exit Zoom, but do you have a YouTube open that you can comment on? Do you have that open that you can comment on? Because I just want people on YouTube to not think I am uh, being unfair or whatever. Okay, first of all, let's. I think we can do it now. I'm not gonna wait any longer. First of all, um, first of all, I'm gonna put. Oh, you won't be able to see it because off camera. Right? Okay, I'm gonna put it here. You see, yeah, there's nothing here. I'm gonna put it here. So I'm gonna write something on this paper. Then I'm gonna put it here. And then when I'm done, I'll show you. Ne? Okay. So I'm choosing the number now. You guys ready? Okay. Let me wait. Let me just show you the paper. So on this side. It's just torn out of my journal. It's where I was writing down those the words for Wordle, so you can see there. Yes, you can see there. No, nah? no numbers. This side, no numbers. I'm gonna write the number there. The numbers here now. I'm putting the number there. Okay. When I say go between 0 and 50, put a number you think is there. And the first one that comes up in the chat that is right, it's going to be the winner. Then we're all going to check if he follows me on IG, follows, uh, subscribes to the channel, and if he's liked the stream, and if he's done that, he's gotten, or she's gotten, a free, um, a free, what you call it, month of mfx you guys know what it was what if two people guess the same number and get it right the first one that pops up in the chat will be the winner okay the first one in the chat will be the winner just to make it fair okay you guys ready okay let's go are you ready three two one go 
33 now. 7 now. 7 now. 27 now. 26 now. 22 now. 30 now. Jeez. 17 now. 25 now. 23 no, no. 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 Jeez. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is getting cock fast now. No. 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 Mass mood. Wait, <laughs> this is mal. No. I'm keeping my eyes in one spot as soon as the number hits that. Guys, you can if you set a number before you can just go again until you get the number. Oh fuck. This is mal. Jordan, stop. Jordan with the number. Jordan with the number. Everybody stop. It's done. Jordan with the number. The number is 24. I haven't taken the paper. You can see the paper still there. I'm just going to go up and make sure that nobody else said it before him. Nah, nobody. So close the mark, so close. Diego, so close. Nobody. Jordan with the with the with the win. Wait, don't leave yet. Nobody leave yet. Tell you why now. Cool. If you don't believe me, here's the number right here. 24 okay jordan you just won yourself a month free mentorship well done however the point of this was to bring in a new person jordan's already mfx member so i'm going to give the free membership to jordan he has it but i'm going to do this again however mfx members okay wait this might be a bit mal right now uh i want i want a new person so mfx members i'll include you but if it lands on you again we're gonna have to do it again and if it land oh my gosh this might be mal. um bro i actually want you to gift it to a gate to a mate of mine if that's okay is he does he follow and watch the stream or is it just a mate um however guys we're gonna do another run anyway just because i want a a a YouTube person that watches me on YouTube and supports me that isn't an MFX member. Um, they're not a member because of whatever reason. That's who I want to take on board. So I'm going to do it again. So you guys have another chance. Uh, Jordan, regarding gifting it to a mate of yours, we'll chat in private rather, okay? Let's rather just talk in private. But you have the mentorship. It's yours. Blank piece of paper again. Guys, that was mal. Like, it's just, I didn't expect that to happen so fast. Um, <laughs> okay, we'll do it again. MFX members, you can take part. Personally, I really want to go to someone that's not part of MFX, though. Because I want them to experience the power of MFX. So, don't, no numbers. Marex, no number. Ma Marex, what, no number. Don't put numbers. Okay? Okay. No numbers. Just so you can relax. Blank piece of paper. Once again, you have to be subscribed on the YouTube, follower on the business page, and like the stream. I can't... I will check everything afterwards. I can't check it. I have analytics for everything. Okay? So make sure you've done that thing. So we're going to do it again. It's once again going to be a number between 0 and 50. Jordan, you can't take part again, unfortunately. Because you've won already. This is going to go again. Okay, are you guys ready? I'm going to write the number down. We're going to hoi it again. Okay. The number's here. Putting the number there. Go. 1, 2, 3, go. Shoot it. Between 0 and 50. Let's go. Wait, fuck, wait. Okay, I got the number.
Fuck it, YouTube's sleeping? Someone's gonna get it that's not sleeping. Ooh, so close. 226, bruh. What? <laughs> Nah, nobody's got it. Nah, boys, nobody's getting it. Nobody's getting it. If I get <laughs> nah, guys, you're off it. This is uh is that is that did I choose a difficult number, like a really a number that no one will really choose. There, stop. Curtis, 43. Curtis, you got it, bro. 43. Curtis has it in the bag. Now, let me just double check that nobody else said it. 43. Curtis, Curtis. Oh shit, Curtis, Calvin said it before you. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Calvin, I'm gonna give you a free month. Curtis, you're gonna get a free month. Because Calvin did say it before Curtis. I just wanna get a non MFX member. Calvin, you're already part of the MFX team. So I'm gonna give you a free month. Okay, so you can have a free month. Next month, you don't have to pay for the MFX course. Um, well, membership. Everything just happened so fast, it's actually pretty hectic to see all of that. Just making sure that no one else put that as well. Cool. Okay, perfect. Calvin, my brother, you have a free month. Curtis, you have a free month. Okay? He says that. So, before that, Curtis... Let me go see if you follow the the pages. Because I know Calvin. Calvin, do you follow the pages? Calvin. Yes, he does. Okay. Curtis. Curtis doesn't, guys. What's your IG name, Curtis? It's too late if, you, if you're only doing it now. What's your IG name? The real... Roy, the real. Leroy Ford, is that you? Okay. Shame, guys, he does follow me. And I've seen that name before, he does. Kurt, uh, Kurt, well, do I, do I call you Curtis or do I call you Leroy? What do you want? <laughs> Anyways, drop me a DM. Um, and then we'll talk and I'll explain to you how we'll go about it, how you join, etc, etc. Calvin, you're in the MFX already, so you're already part of it. Next month, you don't have to pay. Jordan, next month, you don't have to pay. Uh, Curtis, did I just give away? Just gave $150 worth of education away. Well done, boys. Um, 
Yeah, so li Jordan, free month. Calvin, free month. Curtis, welcome to MFX. We will talk on IG and get you into the groups. Tease you quick. Um, I'll respond to you as soon as the stream is done and then we'll take it from there, brother. Just tell one thing. Uh, where are you from, uh, Curtis? Leroy. The fuck do I call you? Leroy. Where are you from, Leroy? Bruce Leroy! Bloemfontein? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's just having a PC is a cheat code. <laughs> it's quick, bruh. It's quick. Miles, I need help with management. We'll send you a message. I got you, bro. I got you. I got you, man. Um, We're done. Trading is done for the day. 22 pips called. Easy day. Gave away three mentorships. I don't know how that happened. It was supposed to be one. Um, Trizzy just keeps spamming sell gold. If you're in golds, good luck, brother. Hope all goes well for you today. Um, same on the next private refix session. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Um, we have... So for MFX members, tomorrow is accountability call so make sure you got your journals ready make sure you got your questions ready so we can take accountability for what you've done your week etc etc and then calvin we should do a what okay i see there's a message in the chat room okay um i'll mfx members just pull up to the zoom after after youtube jordan calvin Everybody else, just pull up to the Zoom meeting, which we are in right now. We can quickly just dissect management. Um, but for YouTube, GG's, solid as day. Trizzy, I hope your cell goes good, my man. For the rest of you, killer, killer week. What did we do this week? Let's quickly have a look on YouTube. What did we do this week? When did this week start? uh monday the 8th what did we do we did 23 pips 0 pips 17 pips 0 pips 40 pips 10 pips 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 trades 5 was on stream no losses all wins hold on boys gg proud of you all any questions do let me know um Quick little plug if you want to take your trading to the next level it's as simple as signing up to the youtube channel i'm what am i saying it's as simple as signing up to the patron which is our uh, mentorship program you get the course you get one-on-one -on -one mentorship you get all the mfx perks accountability all that stuff so if you want to level up your trading this is definitely the place to do it guys no one does it better this is definitely the place you want to be um So it's right here. That is right here. Come on, bro. Why is it not pulling through? Here we go. So it's right here. There. Trailer mentorship. The broker I use. And the business page. As simple as that. So guys, just want to say thanks for joining. Have a blessed weekend. God bless you all. And I'll see you all monday morning remember fridays for mfx members only monday morning i'll be back on youtube half past eight gmt plus two cheers boys i'll see you to uh monday shop shop